Ready, get set, go. Oh, I don't have the oath. Anybody have a copy of the oath? So, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Bless me, Father, I have sinned. <laughs> Patrick and I tilt the picture a little left, so. <laughs> Just remember, no serious guys in your 30s. How oh, are you doing that? I'm going to bite your ears. Come on, it's going to hurt your reputation, man. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. Over there, Mary Lloyd. Grandma can do anything she wants whenever she wants to do it. And that's my new son-in-law, Mike Shapiro. Hey, hey Mike, how, how are you, man? Good to see you. That, that may be in jeopardy unless you get this right. Oh, we're going to do it. All right. <laughs> Great. Can I ask you all one favor? Did we? Tell him in 14 days, no longer vice president, tell him to still say hi to me. <laughs> Well, you got to be very patient. Fathers are hard to raise. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a picture with just the kids? Absolutely. So get the adult. Uh, come on. You get right in there. Come on. I don't kiss you. Why don't you kiss me? Thank you. Pennsylvania's in the house. 16. Uh oh. I hope you got big dogs around the house. Big dogs. Do you want to do a goofy one? <laughs> you sound like my daughter. Get in here. When I die, I want to be reborn in Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep the faith, Mom. I will, thanks. Or as my grandmother would say, spread it. <laughs> I tell you what, at least I get to talk. You guys, you know, stand here. You must be getting tired holding that camera. At least I wasn't in high heels. <laughs> Aren't you glad there's not 435 senators? I can see it now. Biden couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you get All the right. sense he was enjoying every minute of that. Vice President Joe Biden drew a lot of laughs at his final ceremonial swearing in of U.S. senators. Vice President joked with lawmakers, flirted with some of the ladies as we just saw there, and was snubbed by not one but two babies. At the end of the ceremony, the vice president took on a more serious tone. He told reporters it was an honor to serve in the Senate and also said he looks forward to his work as a private citizen.